Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying these two products in here. We have the Dermacolor Camouflage Cream and the Dermacolor Fixing Powder and I'm really excited to share with you what I think about them. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about to make. And in today's video we have a review of two products from Creola. First we have the Thermacolor Camouflage Cream and the little baby of this video. The video is going to be talking about this product more, the fixing powder. So if you want to know what I thought about these two, just keep on watching. Here we have the two products that I'm going to be testing in today's video. The formula of this one I already know because I have this palette in here that it's Dermacolors. <laughs> so I know the formula, I just want to see if this color it's a good one to use as a contour shade and all of that. That's why I decided to put it in today's video. But the big review that I'm going to do today, it's the Fixing Powder by Dermacolor as well. I have heard some amazing things about this powder, that it works amazing, that I decided to buy it and try it for you guys in here. And I'm going to use it on my Makeup Artist kit. I bought the Camouflage Cream. The color that I bought it's the number D19 and the shade seems a good one for me to use as a contour. The ones that I have on my palette, I don't think that they really work as that, like these ones in here. I have tried but they are not perfect. That's why I decided to buy this one and see how this one will work. So if you want to know more things about this one, I have a video when I reviewed like this palette for the first time, so if you want to I'm going to link that video in here so you can go and watch it. About the powder, they say that it's waterproof that sets and mats the Dermacolor Camouflage Cream. It also says skin compatibility, dermatologically approved, fragrance free, mattifying, prolonging and water resistance. Let's just start applying the products just to see what I think about them. Like I have this palette for a while and the thing that I didn't like about the product itself is with other products it doesn't look good. Like when you apply the powder it looks good but like after a few hours of wearing the product with that powders on top it starts to crease and I didn't like that. So normally what I did was applying this one to like take that color that we have on your eyes and then apply uh, another concealer or apply a foundation on top. Today I don't have any foundation or concealer on top of the ones that I use from this palette. I use the D2, D3 and D4. I'm really excited to see how this one will work. But before we start applying the powder I'm going to start with the bronzer. So here we have a swatch of the color of the product. It seems really a good color to use as a contour shade, so I'm really happy. I'm really loving the color. I think that it's an amazing perfect one to use to do the contour of the face. Look at how my skin is looking. So beautiful. Oh my god. It's looking bronzed and beautiful. I'm really liking the color that this one gave me. The bronzer it's looking beautiful. I think that in the camera doesn't show as much because the camera normally takes a little bit of the makeup but I can tell that it has a good amount of product and that it's looking so beautiful. I'm going to just put a little bit more in this part. I hope that you can see now but let's apply the powder now. The color that I decided to buy was the P2. I hope that you can see. It has like a yellowish undertone but I think that it's a good color. So underneath my eyes I'm going to apply the powder with a puff.
for first impressions it's looking very beautiful I'm happy with the powder setting it with a puff for the rest of the face I'm going to set it with a brush I think that my skin is looking very beautiful with the powder on top. I'm really liking the powder. The first time for the first impressions, of course, but I'm really liking it. And the color that this one has, it's a good one for me. It's a yellowish kind of tone, but not like that banana powder or something like that. It's a white kind of powder, but it has just a little bit of a um, yellow undertone. I think that it made my skin looks beautiful. It doesn't look too cakey or too dry or anything like that. I'm really liking the powder for these first minutes that I'm using it. I think that it's looking beautiful. But I want to do something that I normally do with powders, foundations and concealers is doing a wear test to see how this one works and how this one wears during the day. So I'm going to do that today, see how this one works. I'm going to come back before I take my makeup off my face just to see how it looked after some hours of wearing. But like for now, I'm really liking it and I think that it did an amazing skin my skin <laughs> it really doesn't look too cakey or anything like that and underneath the eyes it looks so beautiful it's set it but it doesn't look too cakey or too creasy so I think that I've already said everything that I had to say about the powder now so I'm going to come back in the end of the day and telling you what I thought about the powder so I see you soon. I know that I look different from the other part of the video that you already saw, but something happened. I filmed the video on Sunday and I went out of my house. I have been like all of the afternoon out and then I went to dinner and when I came home, I came home, it was like 10.30 in the evening and I was tired. I had to prepare the things for for school and for me to go to gym, the food uh, for my lunch and all of that. And when I got home, I was so concentrated on doing that things that I forgot to come here and show you how my makeup was. What I did today was doing the makeup again, not on my eyes, it's not the same makeup that I did on the other video, but on the skin, it's exactly the same. I use the same products, apply them the same way. I decided to do again a uh, wear test of the makeup, even though it's not the same day, but you saw me applying the product, but all of them are the same and I apply them the same. When I apply the powder underneath my eyes, I applied it with a puff, on my skin with a brush. It's everything exactly as it was the first time that I recorded a video. Let's start talking about the makeup that I have on my face. I have this makeup for 11 hours on my face, so I think that it's a good time of wear. I applied, as I told you already, the powder on my face with a brush and underneath the eyes with a puff. Underneath my eyes, I feel like it's a little bit dry. I feel that and I have here some marks <laughs> on my nose because of the glasses that I used today. Sunglasses, normal glasses. Other than that, the makeup looks pretty good. I feel like underneath my eyes, it's a little bit dry. I didn't like to use this concealer, the Dermacolor. Like only the product uh, and then putting the powder, I felt like it was terrible after like one or two hours. I didn't like to see them. This product, uh, the Dermacolors are supposed to be set it with the powder of them, the Dermacolor fixing powder, the one that I'm testing today. I feel like it was the product that my under eyes looked better. I am happy with that. So for me, like today, it's been 11 hours and it's the day that I feel like the Dermacolor looks better with anything on top. So I'm really happy. I really like the powder. I think that the powder is very soft and 
very fine like any loose powder it's easy to apply i really like the color i think that it has light but with a little bit of yellow subtone so i think that the color is very beautiful at least on my skin i think that it works very well about the one that i used as a bronzer i think that you can still see that i have uh, the product in here i use that product as well i have nothing to say about the color i think that the color is very beautiful to use as a contour shade the powder i think that it's also amazing my skin doesn't look too dry or anything like that if there are more dry i really in this part in here on uh, my under eyes but i want to try it more um to see how it looks like with other products i really want to try the powder with the nessa Myricks foundation the vision cover just to finish uh, in terms of the dermacolor as i told you i already loved the formula that it had i think that it covered very well it has a good good coverage and about the powder i think that it's a good one like it's not pricey at all in terms of the powders that you can buy uh, in other places so i'm going to use it more times to see really the opinion but for the first time like today is the second so for the second time i think that it's a good good product and i'm really excited to try it with other products that i have on my collection i want to know what you thought about the video so go down there on the comments area and tell me everything if you have already knew these products and if you like them or not or if you'd like to try them so go down there and tell me everything and if you like this video and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my youtube channel don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when I upload a new video. If you like this one, don't forget to also click on the thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use so you can go there and follow me as well. Really are in the end of the video. I really hope that you like this one, that you had a good time in here with me today. Thank you so much for watching it until the end and now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!